morning. We're in the mountains of Shiga, Japan right now. I'm doing a little bit of pre-scouting for a mini hike that I want to take today. That out there is Nagahama City. I was hoping to catch some of those beautiful autumn colors because we've gotten a cold snap lately and that brings on the really vibrant fall leaves. But it looks like I was just, just a little bit too early. I drove out here again by camper van, but this camper van is just a little bit bigger than the one that we borrowed last time. So that's gonna be the hiking path and this is where we are. It's called the Ibukiyama driveway. Before I actually climb up there, there's something really important that I need from the camper van. This here, <laughs> this is what I've got for my camper van this time. And it is gorgeous inside. It is borderline luxurious inside of here. Look at all this space. Ugh. Excuse the mess. I'm just charging up some stuff right now. But this turns into a bed. There's like additional bedding space here. I've got my battery, but it's got a battery built in and whatnot. And there's an extra sleep. Are you? Dude, dude, what? are you sleeping again? You were gone for so long. <laughs> this is my buddy Mitch. Uh, if you watch any of the Kagoshima documentary, like the, the Sakurajima documentary, Mitch was my big supporter and camera help and everything for that. Get changed, we gotta go. Look at that. Hey dude, you good? You back? Yes. I think I found our hiking path. Um, Norm, knowing you, is it safe? There's a fence. There's a fence. There's a fence. There's a fence. You gotta pay first, and then let's head in. Does that say bears? Yeah. Are there bears here? Probably not. We, we should be all right. <laughs> so did you pay to come in here both times? Yeah, it's... Technically optional, but you know, they help protect us from bears. So. <laughs> <laughs> the terrain. <laughs> so uh, our 300 yen pays for stuff like this, right? <laughs> do, do we even need to open it? We can just go under it, right? <laughs> We're just Tokyo lensing it. <laughs> I'm starting to get an understanding of why it costs so much to come up here. <laughs> when, uh, so this road that we use to come up here costs about 3,000-ish yen. And it is, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful road. It's gorgeous. And Mitch was like, why do we have to pay 3,000 yen just to drive up the side of a mountain? Yeah, I didn't get it. But then Norm was like, you'll see. <laughs> and yeah, this is... <laughs> I don't even know, I honestly don't even know how high we're gonna go. But I wanted to come out right now because this road is actually closed from November until like the end of April is that in like spring. From snow or something? Yeah, a lot of the like mountain roads in Japan yeah. just close in the colder seasons because they can't be properly maintained. Ah. So I kind of feel like we're in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what is that? <laughs> it feels almost like post-apocalyptic. It looks like it's a fence for giant cows. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Shiga Prefecture, home to Japan's largest cows. Let's go this way and check out the giant cow fence. <laughs> All these doors make it feel so like uninviting, but like, look at this. Whoa. Dude, listen to that. Silence. Is this the only hiking path? No, there's actually, I think, three or four hiking paths split through the area. The one that we're on right now is like a 40 minute hiking path. I think, I think it goes up even higher up here. <laughs> I 
うわ And you can actually see some of the other like hiking trails down there. There's a few people down there even. Dude, you can also see some paragliding, parasailing. What is that? Paras I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to even pick it up. It's gonna be so tiny out there. But look at these views though. Ah. I never tire of this. There's actually like a, a mountain hut up there that we can hike to, but there's there's people there and I'm not in a people mood. We're, we're in a nature mood. I'm in a standing on the mountain mood. But we've actually got to get to our next destination. You can see the Shinkansen out there. Oh my god, you can. So when we drove up the mountain this morning, there were these crazy photographers sitting on the edge of cliffs, literally on the edge of death. And for the life of me, I wouldn't stay there. I wouldn't shoot there. And just, secondly, what are they taking pictures of? I have no it's idea. It's just mountains. It's just mountains. I don't, I don't, it like, it's literally just a mountain range out there. I have not the first clue. There they are. They're, they're literally still there. What are they doing? I have no, I've got to find out what these guys are shooting. I have just, okay, that's it. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna go find out what these guys are shooting. Be right back. こんにちは。ここで何を撮ろうとしてるんですか。鳥鳥。な、何の鳥ですか。Birds. They're shooting birds. Over here as well, there's just an entire group of them and they just gather right on the edge. That's not that bad. But the guys over here, like they are right on the edge of that. Oh. Like I've been known to put my camera in some pretty iffy spots, but I don't, I don't even think I would do that. It makes me wonder if one of them's ever lost a camera off the edge. So, uh, so what were they doing? Birds. They're taking pictures of birds. 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 <laughs> in retrospect, it almost seems kind of obvious. Probably should have guessed that, but... Yeah, I should have guessed that. Either way, it was a fun conversation. this windy road with this large of a vehicle. <laughs> it is pretty steep and you can feel the weight of the vehicle, but it's, it's not that bad. I drive a lot in Japan, so I, I actually enjoy this. You live in Kagoshima, you have a car. Do you do much? I, I really haven't seen you do much driving. So I drive a lot, but I don't drive big cars. I drive, I drive like coupes and stuff like that. Okay. So like a little road like this, I just like tear up and it'd be fun, but not in an RV. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, that was a bit longer of a drive than I had initially expected. And we got all the announcements. Every single announcement that they could do, they did it right then. We gotta find food of some sort. Do you think there's a supermarket around here somewhere? What are you thinking? I'm thinking... Nabe? Nabe sounds good. <laughs> How long did we spend in that supermarket? It's like night time now. <laughs> <sighs> oh, we got all our nabe stuff. I wanted to do some exploring of the area while it's still light out, but it seems like that's no longer an option. So we'll probably have to do that first thing tomorrow. There we go. We even grabbed ourselves a bit of a nabe. How do we, here's a gift. Give this a quick wash. There we go. Here you are. And 
Uh, we don't have a knife. Scissors. I think scissors will work on the nitty, but I'm not sure how we're gonna do this, the cabbage. Cabbage is easy. <laughs> you don't cut much, do you, Mitch? Is this, the, is this the Tokyo lens way of doing things? This is absolutely the Tokyo lens way of doing things. Well, just gotta cut them on an angle. Yeah, it makes them look better. I don't know if it does anything See? or taste, but... It, I feel like this is actually better than a knife. Oh my god, can I take a photo of this? <laughs> wait, 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 I gotta take a photo of this. That's how you prep your nabe. Boom. Scissors work. Okay. It's, uh, it's not bad. Make it pretty. <laughs> Make it pretty. <laughs> People I know are watching. <laughs> Dude, how much beer do you... All right. There we go. Yeah, that's my beer. Can I point out this is the one time that the scissors would have been appropriate to open this package and you didn't use the scissors? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? We're gonna sink right there and just wash our hands. Okay. Oh my god, this is... Oh my god. <laughs> What are you doing, Noah? <laughs> get it over here, get it over here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Is that not... <laughs> this is not how Nave works, Noah. <laughs> well, you have chopsticks, right? We can just put some back. Can, okay, yeah, can we put some back? <laughs> Do the one. Go like that, and then... One, two. There. And this is a screen. That is so cool. It goes from, look, 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 look. It goes, it goes, sh shade, <laughs> screen. How cool is that? <laughs> I have never seen somebody have so much fun with a camping car in my entire <laughs> life. Mitch, I think you were honestly the perfect person to bring along on this trip. I've been pressing all the buttons. I don't know what they do, but there's a lot of them. I've been pressing them. We have been eating like on the go from day Dude, guys, if you guys at home listen, Norm moves. He's like, this is like Tokyo Land schedule. This is not Mitch's schedule. This is Tokyo Land schedule. He moves and there's no time to eat. It's like, go, 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 go. <laughs> this is like, I think the first time that me and Norm are actually going to sit down and have like an actual meal together. Here we go. <laughs> we got to stir it once or twice. All the meat is just like clumped together. That's why we don't do that. <laughs> <gasps> I got a perfect break. That's gotta be lucky for something, right? That's got that, right? That's... <gasps> I know what you need. Come by. Tadakimasu. <laughs> 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 we, we uh we got through it all but i'm telling i still really want to explore this area in the morning because i the, the whole purpose of coming out here we got here so late i'm so exhausted we should get this all cleaned up oh i forgot i had cheetos <laughs> that was your best day, man <laughs> oh, i'm so happy you guys are gonna have cheetos and go to bed <laughs> I will binge on Cheetos tomorrow. <laughs> let's, let's get cleaned up. This is a beautiful spot. Where's that castle? In the sky! Oh my god! I didn't see the castle! Oh, look at this! Castle in the sky. Morning. Mitch looking all fancy in his glasses there. We are finally exploring the area of Gujo, Gujo Hachiman and there's something up here that I want to show you guys. It's actually this narrow little street right here. Actually all the streets of this place are beautiful but look at this. So at first look it almost feels like you shouldn't come down this alley but this here is the Igawa Creek and it's actually one of the most beautiful spaces. I say that this is one of the most beautiful spaces in the area, but the entire area is just, it's just filled with beautiful spaces. Like even Mitch out here in the distance, just looking at the fish in the creek. Look at this.
Areas like this are used, for example, this is a fire bucket, so they'd be able to gather water to put out fires and whatnot, but the real gem of this place is down here. As I navigate the danger stairs, let's head down to the water. <laughs> Mitch and I actually did a Tokyo Lens Explore like live stream walk through the area this morning, and it just, I will link it up above, but it has made me fall in love with the Gujo Hachiman area. Look at this. Can I just say, Norm is really taken to this place. I have never seen him this excited about any place before. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Dude, you know what this place reminds me of? The water temple from Zelda? <laughs> yes, exactly that, <laughs> exactly that. We have been walking through here for some time now, and Mitch can't stop talking about Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Zelda video game. It really does. I've never seen a more Zelda-looking place in, in Japan before. Like, everything about it. Look, look at these. <laughs> Along the river, there's all these walking paths, like what we're on right now, and they keep connecting up to the city at different places, but even the back streets of the city are just absolutely phenomenal. I honestly don't know how it's taken me this long to come out to this place. I kind of feel the same way. Like, I didn't even know this place existed and now I'm in love with it in a day. Like, even just look at the buildings built up along the river here. You got a little, little Jigizo statue up here. <sighs> we need to find another stairway to go up so we can check out. So I think this stairway here should lead us back up into the town so we can explore some of the back streets. Ah, yep. Okay. I know this street. I know this street. This is that tiny little alleyway street that we found this yes. morning, which means actually back streets would be, would be back. Oh. This way. I absolutely adore these little back street areas. And the city of Gujo has actually gone through great efforts to preserve the area and its culture. It was originally a city divided into different towns like a blacksmith town and the craftsman town, all of these other towns. And it's been really well preserved and taken care of. But unfortunately, this doesn't get the, the same attention that places like Kyoto do. And it's got that same like temple and shrine density, beauty density, because that's one of the things that makes Kyoto great, right? It's how much stuff is in a single place, but this place is like that, but without all the people. Right. Like you can actually do this in a day. And it, yeah, it's like authentic, you know what I mean? Yeah. Speaking of people, I would actually just love to come back here and do like a thing on like the lifestyle of the people who live here. Dude, that would be <gasps> awesome. That reminds me. Mitch is actually working on a channel with Alex who I did the live streams with when we were out in Kagoshima and they're making like a People of Kagoshima documentary channel. I'll, I'll I'm gonna link that. Uh, I'm gonna link that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so thank you very much. I like it. It is a nice channel. Okay, we're gonna go down this way. I think there's some like really... Honestly, look at this place. It's just shrines and back alleys, shrines, and back alleys. It is an honest plethora of options. I don't get to use that word enough, plethora. It's not a word you usually say. <laughs> oh. Dude, everyone here is like so friendly. It's like they gave an announcement that said, hey everybody, be nice to the tourists. <laughs> <laughs> it's like walking into an Apple store except nobody's trying to sell you anything. <laughs> but I like 
I feel like I, I almost feel like I'm gushing. Like I don't want to feel like like I'm trying to like sell this place. But or, it's you know, real. We're... But it's yeah. Like if you don't believe it, like look at another another back street. Like watch watch the live stream that we did today. I'll, as I said, it'll be linked. You can just watch my excitement increase throughout the entire thing. Hundred percent unedited as well. Like and everybody's like greeting us and saying hello. It was so friendly. <laughs> funny part is though we've been in a castle town all day and haven't really done anything with the castle yeah but you know japanese castles in general look best from a distance mm. yeah they're really like part of the landscape right? yeah yeah if you've ever gotten up close to a japanese castle they're nice inside it's like a museum inside yeah you have to keep going keep going yeah, keep yeah. Moving. they're like part of the, the picture of the landscape yeah yeah i like them but i like the view of them more than like being does that make sense am i making sense you make perfect i sense. think i make sense this right here is actually japan's number one spring water spot I had it no is. idea and look at this it has it has really clouded over <laughs> like how long were we in those back streets I walked through this and the net just stole my tribe. <laughs> ah. We've been up here enjoying these beautiful views and Mitch will not let it go about the fences. Dude, okay, it's either giant cows. It's just not cows. Or it's for the wind so it doesn't erode the mountain. Well, it, it eroded the enjoyment of the... <laughs> I'm gonna go with giant cows. Okay, giant cows it is. If you know, leave it in the comments. It's probably wind. <laughs> it's just swinging there. It's just. <laughs> Have you ever in your life seen an empty vending machine in Japan? No. What is this? It's not even turned on. No. Wow. What well, time is it, Mitch? It's 5:30, Norm. Why are we here at 5:30? <laughs> Have you? When's the last time you saw Mount Fuji up close? Like four years ago. Well, congratulations. I don't even think I've ever taken a photo with Mount Fuji, actually. Oh, we should take a photo. <laughs> okay. Mitch photo. <laughs>